Um, our buddy Liam, Liam Bennett. I haven't talked to you in a long time, so good to hear you on with us this evening. How do I use a counterpoise or foxtail with an HT in my backpack on a table with an external mic? Um, mm. They call them, you know, foxtails or tiger tails. That's when you get like that 20-inch mm -hmm. piece of wire. And I think the easiest way is to take just like a little um, ring terminal. Right, yeah. right, like a quarter inch ring terminal mm -hmm. or something like that, and doesn't need to be a real thick wire. It can be like eighteen nope. gauge. So nope. basically, I'm going to break out my HT right here. I don't use them, but other people swear by them. So I don't really use them either. So you would unscrew your antenna. So the yep. threaded portion of the antenna base right here that's going to be like your ground right so you can just take the ring terminal put it over that and then you can screw this back on and it won't short out to the uh center terminal which is like your hot so to speak that's your radiating portion and then this is actually 19 and a quarter inches right about there there's no inductor on this so your um tiger tail or whatever you want to call it would be the exact same length as this and it would just hang down yeah or, so that's really how they do it and it's just basically a counterpoise or making a dipole for two meters mm -hmm. uh, so they can help again I, I don't think they're really that much of a help um i think they may help more if you have a um if you have a short rubber ducky antenna. they would yeah yeah, yeah. If you get you know, if you got the long those signal sticks are really nice antennas if you really want to kind of um, you know enhance and it you know have have a you know a decent a good strong signal with an HT because that's a true quarter wave yeah. and as being a true quarter wave though it I'm, I'm guessing that the that the counterpoise probably will give you a little bit of extra a little bit right. of extra edge there. So this is this is a signal whip right here. They're mm -hmm. um, they're relatively inexpensive. And I forget the website that they, is it Ham ham Study Online that they support? I'd have to check them out. But it all, it all goes back to the ham radio community. So um, check these guys out. They're, they're very flexible. I like them. Um, so if you put this in your backpack, this actually will, you know, gets up. The tip of it's actually over my head, which is amazing because I have a huge head. Um, <laughs> if you haven't noticed in the video. There you go. Signal stuff. Signal stuff. And, um, and so if you leave that in the backpack and you have a rat towel, the rat towel can just hang outside the backpack too. I don't think that would be too much of a problem. Yep. And they support ham study. So, yes. so yeah. yeah, overall, I, you know, it, it definitely ain't going to hurt. I think they're a little cumbersome. Nope. The rat tails, not the signal sticks. But Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the rat tails are just a little cumbersome personally. You'd never see me at a public event, you know, with the wire <laughs> hanging down. <laughs> yeah, that's that too. Just me. That's just me. Yep, I get that. And too, a lot of times, you know, if we're using like the local repeater, we don't need to, you know, we don't need that extra bit of enhancement. So it's um, mm -hmm. you can get by with just the uh, with with just the ducky antenna. Right. So. Um, but yeah, I, on the other hand, though, if you're camping or you're hiking or something, sometimes every extra dB of gain counts. So it does. It does, especially yeah. if you want to um, use uh, APRS or something like that. Then it's your because you're at a disadvantage with APRS already. Um, using a handheld to digit to to um, send out your beacons. So you know if you can if you can make a stronger signal any which way, it makes it makes a difference. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpol-antenna.com.